Hi everyone, it's Melissa, and today I am sharing what I plan to read in September. This isn't so much a TBR, this is a pile of possibilities because there's no way I am getting through all of these books in one month, but I wanted to film a TBR because I haven't really been sharing TBRs this year because I've just been more so mood reading. But as I was looking through my shelves, there were just a lot of things that were jumping out to me, and um, I just got excited to read some of the shorter things on my shelves because of Shorty September. And so as I was pulling these things off my shelf, I thought, well, I basically have a pile of possibilities, so I might as well um, share this TBR with you. So first up, I'll do the books that I kind of like have to read. So um, I am currently halfway through the next book to prize book, which is The Phone Booth at the End of the World. I've forgotten the author's name. I will make sure all of the books that I mention and their authors are um, down below in the description. And the last book I have to read for the book two prize is The Bricklayers, I think it's called. I also don't know the author for this. Can you tell I didn't prep and that I'm just filming this during my lunch break? <laughs> it's a little bit thrown together, I apologize. Um, but again, it'll be below. So those are the last two books for the book two prize. The other thing I will definitely be reading in September is, um, what's it called? Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe by Fanny Flagg. Is that the author's name? I can't remember. Again, it'll be below. Um, this is for my book club, so I do have to read that since I'm leading the discussion on it. Um, so those are things I have to read. Then the next two are, I don't necessarily like have to read them, but they were the two books that came up for the booktube spin, which means I'm supposed to read them by the end of September. So we are going to put this high up on the list. And that is Mort by Terry Pratchett, the next in the Discworld series. Um, this is the first in the like death subseries. So I am very interested and and looking forward to meeting like new characters. So there's that one and the other one that came up in the spin is The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, this is about the ability to like tap into dreams or to alter reality. Okay so it's about a character who discovers that his dreams are able to alter reality and he goes to a doctor to um, help like sort through this but the doctor might have some like ulterior motives. So that's The Lathe of Heaven. And then looking at this, it's a very short book. It is under 200 pages and it reminded me that September is Shorty September. I will link below the host for Shorty September um, but it's just a reminder to get to those little novellas and, and short books that are on your shelf. And I had a few, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to put these on my TBR pile of possibilities for September because um, there were quite a few short books that were calling out to me anyway, and I thought, what a perfect excuse to read them. Um, there are a few that aren't here because I also went through kind of like my Libby app and my eBooks to see what else I had that was short that I was in the mood to read. And one was a very short, maybe it's even more like a short story. It's, I think, a thriller. It's called The Test by Sylvain Nouvelle. Nouvelle? I think that's the last name. And this, I don't know anything about. I think Emma from Drinking By My Shelf read this like a couple years ago for like a thriller readathon and she gave it five stars. I also um, would like to read a collection of poems by Phyllis Wheatley. She was the first African-American to have a collection of poetry published. Um, or maybe to just have a book published, period. I, I don't quite remember the details, um, but my library has an e-copy of this, so I would love to read it. Um, another thing that's on my list is a middle grade um, called Coyote Tales by Thomas King. 
I don't know the, what this is about. This was definitely a, oh my gosh, I love this co cover and I am craving some middle grade. So that's um, another one that's on the list. And then the rest are things, shorter books that were on my shelf that I want to get to. So the first is a memoir called Heartberries by Therese Marie Mailhot. She is from the Seabird Island Indian Reservation in British Columbia. And this is her memoir dealing with a very difficult childhood and abuse. And I always love a memoir. Well, I don't always love a memoir. Memoir is like one of my favorite nonfiction genres. And I haven't read one in a while. And I've owned this for, I think, over a year now. Maybe even pushing two years. And so I really want to get to it. The next is another one that I've had for a couple years that has just been languishing on my shelf. And that's the subtweet by Vivek Shreya. And this is about uh, an online friendship between, I think, like a musician and an influencer or something. I forget what the other person's deal is. But they basically form a friendship. And then because of one tweet, drama starts, something goes wrong, the friendship ends. Um, this is a uh, Canadian author, and I've been trying to read more Canadian books. The next on my list is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. This jumped out at me because my husband, who's a big Neil Gaiman fan, um, he really wants to watch Stardust, the adaptation, <laughs> with me. And I keep saying, well, I'd really like to read the book. I don't, I'm not one of these people who necessarily has to read the book before I see the movie. But in this case, I just, for whatever reason, I want to read the book first. And I kind of feel bad that we never get to watch this together <laughs> because I haven't read the book yet. So that's on the pile. And then the last thing is, I mean, technically in terms of page count is probably over the page count for Shorty September, but it is a graphic novel. So I, I'm counting this. Um, it's an anthology called You Died, an anthology of the afterlife. And it's just different stories about, um, I don't know, ghosts, what happens after you die. Um, and my husband bought this for my birthday because um, death and rituals around death and that kind of thing are something that I have an interest in. And um, and also there's a foreword by Caitlin Doty, who I love. Um, she has a couple of books out and uh, she also has a YouTube channel called Ask a Mortician, which is one of my favorite YouTube channels. And um, I think probably what happened is my husband know, knows that I like reading about death and knows that I like Caitlin Doty. So um, yeah, that's also on the pile. That is my pile of possibilities for September. If you've read any of these books and you have strong opinions about them, I would love to hear them to help me prioritize what I'm going to get to in this pile. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll chat soon. Take care. Bye.